Hey guys, back in another video, and I want to talk about something that has the pro wrestling community going crazy. And that is the fact that WWE announced that Impact Wrestling's Knockouts Champion Mickey James is in the Royal Rumble. And they acknowledge that she's the Impact Knockouts Champion. And it's rumored that they now are going to be working on a partnership, Impact and WWE. So many people said this, I'm going to say it as well. WWE never do this. Vince never works with someone. So if WWE is planning to work with another company and have a partnership with Impact Wrestling, <laughs> this might excuse a little bit of budget cuts. If this is the reason so many people were fired and released cuz you kept were behind the scenes working on this, you're a little bit forgiven. Just a little bit. But let's think about this. This sets up a lot of match ideas. You could have Roman Reigns versus the walking weapon Josh Alexander. I know Roman would probably squash him in the WWE arena, but that's still a good match. And with Impact also having a part, a working partnership with New Japan. And that's probably stretching it, but think about this. The Good Brothers versus Imperium. RK Bro versus Violent by Design. Freaking... Even though I, Madcap Corbin, not Madcap, Happy Corbin versus, let me think, who's a, versus Rich Swan or Willie Mac. Madcap and Happy versus Mac and Swan. This idea sets up so much. Eddie Edwards versus Roman Reigns. Christian Cage versus. If he keeps the bell after Hard to Kill, we could have Moose versus Roman Reigns. You have Deanna, Deanna Perrazzo versus Charlotte Flair. That would be the only time I am going with. I'm putting money on Deanna Perrazzo because I hate her. I always say this: Deanna Perrazzo, whenever she talks, she sounds like she's about to cry. She sounds like the spoiled kid who got told no in Target. God, the X Division in NXT. Again, it doesn't forgive all of it, but if this is the reason for the budget cuts, and it wasn't just going for Roman Reigns wanting more money, and Brock Lesnar, I'm a little more open to it. I mean, a g oh, man, this could be fun. Because you have no idea, with the Royal Rumble, and now with the idea of a partnership between Impact Wrestling and WWE, you really have no idea now who could show up at the Rumble. Jonah, a.k.a. Bronson Reed, can make a return. Chris Sabin could challenge Carmelo Hayes for the North American Championship. Braun Breaker could face Josh Alexander. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of hyped for this idea. This I'm interested to see where this could go. Please don't fuck this up. 